Hi, and welcome to Speed and Science. This is Mark, and my name is Udo. Today, we've got a really exciting episode for you. Electronic fuel injection, EFI, and taking the shovel up to the next level. <laughs> exciting. So EFI has been around for a long time. It's been manufactured by automobile manufacturers and motorcycle manufacturers, right, Mark? And, uh, but we at Speed and Science have been doing something pretty interesting. Uh, yes, we have. And uh, yes, due to you know, complexity of uh, EFI system uh, and the whole concept, um, it's not easy to tackle such a project uh, outside OEM. Um, matter of fact, due to you know, uh, time and money spent uh, developing such system, um, OEMs have been guarding the secret secrets uh, uh, very carefully, and it's 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 most of it is proprietary and, and close to impossible to uh, uh, manipulate and 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 reprogram anything. Um, Harley owners uh, were sort of able to change uh, certain parameters, fuel maps, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, to get you know where they wanted to be, but. Uh, at the same time, uh, due to you know uh, work and involved, uh, at the same time it wasn't uh, uncommon to rip out you know the whole system and replace it with a car. Mark, but we're offering a different approach, aren't we? Uh, to a point, yes. Um, over the years, uh, various attempts have been made to uh, create an aftermarket. Um, open architecture uh, EFI system, or ECU, uh, which is the, the, the computer. Um, but uh, only recently, uh, such products uh, matured enough to, to become uh, you know, powerful enough and, 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 and be reliable and, and affordable, of course. You know, nobody wants to spend a fortune you know, uh, building a system like this. Uh, for uh, our EFI shovel project, we, uh, uh, we selected MicroSquirt ECU. So that's the main, main computer or brain behind the operation. Uh, it's manufactured by uh, DIYAutotune.com. It comes with a nice piece of software uh, allowing practically unlimited uh, tunability and modifications. And also it's nice and small and it fits uh, in yeah. a tight spaces. How does it compare to a CARB, Mark? Uh, ECU collects the data from uh, various uh, sensors uh, around the engine and, and based on the readings, um, it reacts accordingly and, and, and instantly adjusts uh, the amount of fuel delivered to the engine, ignition timing, etc., etc., etc. This level of precision allows um, the engine to work flawlessly under uh, Pretty much any condition you know imaginable uh, delivers maximum power, uh, instant acce acceleration, and so on, so on. Um, achieving all all of that with the carp is impossible. Does that make carbs obsolete, Mark? Absolutely not. Um, they both have you know their own pros and cons, um, depending on what you're after. They're completely different animals. So how does this whole thing work? Any EFI system needs high pressure fuel pump. Since we haven't used a tank uh, with an integrated fuel pump and a filter, we installed uh, external units. Uh, the one on the top, that's an inline high pressure fuel pump. And right below that, it's a fuel filter and a pressure regulator. Uh, keeping the pressure at about 45 uh, PSI. The fuel pump is being gravity fed from the tank and then uh, through the filter, delivers pressurized fuel um, to the fuel rail, which is uh, on top of the uh, intake manifold. At the other end of the fuel rail, there's two injectors. As commanded by the ECU, they open and close, uh, spraying atomized fuel inside the intake manifold, uh, separately the front and the rear cylinders. This is also known as a sequential port fuel injection. This is 52 millimeter throttle body by HPI Inc. 
Attached to it, we see TPS, or throttle position sensor, right above it, uh, idle uh, controller, and right behind it, uh, intake air temperature sensor. The front head also houses engine temperature sensor. Now, I'd like to mention that all the sensors, uh, TPS, idle controller, injectors, etc., etc., are standard Harley-Davidson uh, components, so um, there's no exotic uh, parts in that respect. This is where the actual ECU lives, it's that plastic box underneath the aluminum holding plate. Um, it is a tight spot, but uh, luckily micro squirt is fairly small, so it does fit in tight places nicely. Uh, also, there's just enough place for harness and uh, terminal blocks.